These are three new mouse pads from Highstar as part of their pro series of desk pads. They have previously provided more stylish desk pads, but here we have three pads all designed for competitive gaming in mind and with three different types to choose from. These have all been used by me in the past few weeks extensively. They have been covered with my sweat, a lot of tears and some dinners. Not forgetting they have been used for hardcore gaming sessions. Also thanks to Highstar for sending these out to me, their kindness will not affect the review, I wouldn't sell out for desk pads. Before I get into these individually there's a few things that I must go through that they share as one. Firstly these all come in one size, big. Want something smaller? Send Highstar an email or fold them. These are for people that when they turn in game they just want to keep going. Secondly these are all water resistant so you have no no excuse not to clean them. Thirdly, they're all black. Want something stylish? No. This is all about performance in game. Your enemies don't care if you have an anime mousepad loser, that's why they beat you. But with these deep black ones you'll be 100% focused in game. They all have the same rubber bases which help keep the mats on your desk and not on your floor. The stitch edges are all the same which are really tightly done so there's less chance of them fraying and more durability. The durability of each pad is pretty much the same standard so take it from me now going forward these are really high quality. I wash them with a bit of soap and a lazy scrub. The best way to clean it is probably not to drench it like I did but probably just get a damp cloth, a bit of soap and lightly rub the barbecue sauce or whatever sauce of choice you have with your chicken tender. I feel these are going to last a very long time providing you aren't using something really abrasive when scrubbing or harsh chemicals. I mean you can practically eat on them with confidence that when you'll clean it they'll still be super smooth but don't because that's weird just get a plate. So let's take a look at them individually starting with the Comet. It's called Comet because it's fast. How fast is a Comet? I don't know. Google it. This pad is made of Cordura fabric. Cordura is basically a very durable material which is used in the military. The main thing to look out for to understand the speed of control each mouse pad provides is basically how sharp it stops as well as how far the mouse travels using the same force. This will give you a good idea of the stopping power and I guess how floaty your mouse will feel on this pad. I personally don't mind faster mouse pads, I find that accuracy is something that you develop with a pad like this over time and the effortless movement is something that I think is very valuable to get the most out of a lightweight mouse. But I understand that it's not for everyone, if you're going to try this though it might take more than a few weeks to really get used to it. But I feel like for fast paced first person shooters that require things like rocket jumping and a lot more erratic movement with targets moving around a lot more this is probably a really good choice. Next up is the Fusion. Now Highstar has given me some information about this one that I will summarise for you. It's similar to the Artisan Hind but with a lower thread count so it should be a lot softer. They say that their suppliers mentioned that their pad has a higher skin sensitivity rating than the Hind so if you use that then there you go. Personally I find that this is similar to the Fnatic Dash, they are both made of polyester and they really do have the same feel. This definitely feels a bit coarser than the Cordura pad, but overall it's not as fast and actually has a pretty decent amount of stopping power. I find this is probably a safer bet than the Comet, but won't be as great to use in really fast person shooters. But this will still be suitable and is probably a good compromise for people that are a bit too worried about the speed of the Comet. Lastly we have the Void, which is the slowest of the bunch and is made to be a pad focused a lot more heavily on control. This is an incredibly soft and smooth pad, Highstar said it's meant to be similar to some of the more popular control pads such as the SteelSeries Quick and the Zowie GSR. They mentioned that it also has better humidity resistance so if you've ever used a mouse pad and maybe found that some parts feel a bit slower than others this one should resist that a little bit more. Highstar does say this is a buttery smooth mouse pad and it is, it feels really nice against my skin. This is significantly slower than the other two mouse pads and is probably one of the slowest that I have used however it is still incredibly smooth moving the mouse around, it doesn't feel muddy, it's just a super consistent feeling around the whole mouse pad. This will probably be superior for more tactical shooters like Valorant or CSGO. The precision that you'd get from a mouse pad like this with more slight mouse movements is just incredibly superior to the other two. Overall these three mouse pads are actually very impressive, I wasn't expecting anything this high quality. There's clearly a high level of care and detail put into these which I think is great. And the fact they're desk pads is a bonus because I feel like the selection of actually decent competitive desk pads is rather limited. 
here there are three very very high quality large mouse pads that I would highly recommend. If I had to choose out of the three I'd probably go for Diffusion, I really just like how it feels or performs. It is a bit of a faster pad but it provides a decent amount of stopping power as I said. The price of these are around about $50 with free shipping on Amazon which I'd personally say from using these mouse pads is actually a reasonable price I feel for a desk pad of this quality. You might not believe me so naturally you have to take my word for it on this one and it might be worth just giving them a go and see what you think. If you're going to be getting a high quality mouse pad that will last a number of years then I would say it is definitely worth the price. If you're wanting to look at another mouse pad I've put a video on screen now that should be of interest.